Right, second day running. I've got to do these quite a lot because I've got a lot to catch up on. I know you lovely folks out there love seeing all the nice shiny toys I've been buying. So before I start organising some of this stuff and putting it in cabinets, I thought we'd go through some of it quickly. Um, I'm sure some of you are just going to be bored by the first few patches, but I've got a crap ton of airborne patches next to me. They're there, you can't see them. Um, a lot of them are sort of similar-ish, but there are some odd variants in there. Um, they're a complete pile of mixed up nonsense, so I can't even go through all the garrison cap badges. There's just absolutely tons of stuff on top of each other. First Allied Airborne. Uh, it's kind of an odd one because of the weird, the domed shape on the bottom. Usually they come to a point, uh, like the shape of that Britishy one. This is that crappy, horrible, sewn back to it. Um, yeah, you know, they're pretty enough. Um, geez, what a mess. British made garrison cap parachute patch can I see any of those no and then you've got the unofficial is it 1943 type um, it's just a normal what is it quill patch um, that one's a bit more which way around is it that way that one's a bit more rarer and special the, the, the early glider one it's lovely quite hard to come across um, yeah and again <laughs> slightly different variant with the the big thick border it's slightly bigger and then a smaller one on twill and the reverse almost looks identical to the to the front felt artillery one wheel artillery one <laughs> um, and then you've got a British made one with the oh bye with the cheesecloth backing, you know, you can pause this if you want to look at them in any more sort of detail. Is that each way? Yeah, there we go. I even picked them up as a pair. So, it, oh my god, I can't put my hands together. The glider, or combined, you know, paraglide, whatever you want to call it. Which is, uh, oh, who's I talking to? Holloway, I think, Andy Holloway. Um, that the 82nd had those on on the Normandy jump and the uh, 101st didn't and I got completely confused and thought he was talking about those so that was an interesting conversation where we we're both talking about two completely different things um, <clears throat> and you've got the normal type of the airborne patch and then there's a felt sort of fronted one Again, the reverse is the same it's just very very silky and soft to touch. <coughs> Not that I go and stro stroking patches much. <coughs> uh, artillery glider. Cheesy cloth back. And then the artillery combined one. It's a twill one. Twill. Great word. And then the more a bit of an unusual one. And again, all these feature in that book by, well, I've got his name, is it Kevin? Um, Kevin, yeah, Kevin Della something, I can't pronounce his name because I'm English and we only speak one language. Um, and everything else we try and say is generally bastardised. And another one of those. Again, these are all slightly, slightly different. But Kevin's book is great for that because it's, there are so many variants. Uh, another one, really, really flimsy. Um... And cheesecloth back. But it's so actually, you hold it up to the light, you can see light through it. It's that it's that sort of thin gold. Oh no, there's still more, still more parachute cat badges, cat patches, cat patches. <coughs> Again, unfortunately, Gap have vanished from the market for good reproductions. So I hope whatever he's doing, he's all well and good. I did like Steph. I nice guy to chat with. I'm not sure why he's. Left the market. Yeah, again, that's the unusual thing. I think it's 1943, sort of unofficial ones. Um, yeah, no idea what Stefan's up to. Hope he's okay. And then a tiny, tiny, I mean, in comparison, if I pick up that one, it really is, really is diddly. 
Um, it's, it's a strange one. Nothing makes me think it's post-war, but I mean... <sighs> Well, this obviously was private purchase odd stuff. I mean, it could be bloody anything, couldn't it, to be honest? <clears throat> well, there's still more. They're still coming. And it's almost oval. And again, the light of the camera, you can pretty much see straight through it. It doesn't quite look that bad in person. Yeah, I mean, that is... It almost looks more like a helicopter than the plane. I don't know if I do that. There we go. So, I mean, like, the cab on it is just really weird. Um... Let's not let's not do that one yet. Let's, oh yeah, an uh, eighty second, the black back type, which I think is supposed to be British. I don't know. Uh, and then just a, a normal one. You see where the the airborne tab has been just sliced off. You know why not? And a really tatty old third, uh, sorry, eleventh airborne that's been hacked off of something. There's original thread on it still. Uh, a 13th uh, it's just a, a normal back it's not anything special British made 101st airborne tab yeah there's a couple of those kicking around is that, is that another one yeah there's another one not sure I didn't see the back of the other one did I um, yeah they're not very exciting um, and there's another British made one you can't quite see actually you can sit on the back clearly it's got a Oh no, you can't. It's got like a border to the inside between the edge and the. No, I keep telling you, you can't see it. Sorry. There's a thin sort of rope border just above the letters. Um, where do we go? Oh yeah, and there's the other. Yeah, there's just more, more and more airborne tabs. You know, they're all slight variants, slightly thicker letters, slightly thinner letters, slight different angles, more spaces. The O's more round. You know, there's quite a few variants to these, as you've probably seen from the, the Bando listings. <coughs> well, I called him by his, his, only his surname. It's a one or a two, I can't really bother to check. You guys can do that and play that game. Um, and there's a scruffy four. Is it four? No. No, it's not a four, is it? It's uh, about a fifteen. No, what the hell do I know? <coughs> um, and the blue one, either for the 82nd or the 13th or the 11th. Right, are we down with the right? Now, something a bit more unusual. The first type, 101st patch. I quite like that. It's got old Abe on it, the chicken. Yes, I know, he's still an eagle. Um... <laughs> Moving on, some jump wings on their original cards. I think these are all marked on the back. I don't really want to take one off. Uh, I'll draft it, aren't I? Let's. I don't need one to take off. Oh, I. They had this. The guy had a few of these, so I bought. I bought every single one he had. Um, which is one, two, three, four. Yep. Yep, five of them. I couldn't resist. They were just too nice. Oh, there we go. That one slides off already. I mean, they are mint, mint, mint. Sterling on the back. Yeah, be gorgeous. Um, I mean, why I had to feel the need to buy all five. I don't know. I wasn't, just wasn't going to leave him any. Um, you know, when do you see these in mint condition on, on the sales card still? Well, you don't. Because arse oh, so like me purchase them all as soon as they see them. I will probably sell a couple of those because I don't really need all five, but <laughs> there's no rush. <clears throat> and we come down to the... Not start with that one, so I can't tell what that is straight off the top of my head. Um, I've got loads of notes on this screen, hence why I'm looking into the distance like a, a lost child. Um, 11th Airborne HQ, or just 11th Airborne in general. So now I'm going to throw these in a different pile. This one I like, although it's probably, well, almost certainly, end of the war, post-war. 326 Medical Battalion. It's kind of nice. <clears throat> 503rd. Yeah, actually, sometimes they put me in the camera, they come up with a very strange colour. Um, 
What's that? That is oh oh. We believe 408th Quartermaster Company, um, possibly. Um, I'm not going to quote the guy who told me that because then I only get fucking upset. I've used his name. Oh, uh, where are we? 82nd HQ, or possibly 187th German made. Is that right? 100? Yeah, no, I think it's. I think no. Sorry, no. Can, nothing to do with the 82nd. Fucking. Or is it? It's actually the same colours, isn't it? I think that's 187th. Glider Infantry, I think. Could be wrong. Um, German made patch. Some oddities to it. Yeah, generic artillery. Sheath cloth backed. I mean, there's even another one of them on my desk. These things are bloody everywhere. There's another one, again, slightly different reverse. Um, what's this humongous thing? 307th Engineers, I believe. Again, I could be wrong with some of these. If you guys can correct me, I'm going to try and explain which one you're talking about. Uh, what the hell is this? Uh, I can't remember. I can't remember which one that is. 11th Division HQ? Yeah, it is. No, you don't need to tell me that one. And a uh, weirdly freakish 11th Division HQ. I know, actually, I wrote it on the back. Actually, somebody wrote it on the back of that one. I think it was the guy I got it from Colin. Ah, oh, crap. Colin and Ian Dewey. Uh, I got loads of these from him. I got a few bits off him in the past, actually. Um, compasses and uh, oddities. What's that? That's not a 508th. 508th. Black and white. It didn't really show up black and white on there. Uh, 464th. Parachute Field Artillery Battalion, I believe. And it is yellow. Um, and then another one, again, slightly thicker, slightly different. Yeah, I mean the vari the variants of these it just it's almost never ending. How is that? Hmm. Um, I think that is a hundred eighty eighth, um, which is glider infantry, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Um, oh, no, it doesn't sound the back typical. And there's that one. Um, when you get these dark blue and light blue, people seem to mistake them with the 502. And I can never, despite doing 502, remember which is which way round. And even looking at my sheet with loads of them drawn on, I wouldn't like to... No, it's, not, it's definitely not 502. I'm not going to commit to what that is. It's just, it's a thing. Five o third or three o seventh. Three o seventh airborne engineers, possibly. Um, oh god, what's this? I think that's hundred and eighty eighth. It could be hundred and eighty eighth. Um, I don't know if it's parachute. No, I don't think it is that. It could be, I don't know. Because it's got a parachute and 108th is glider. Who knows? Um, 82nd Airborne? Or 187th? Again, I get those confused because they're so, they're so similar. Uh, 511 signals. I quite like that one. I just, it's just you know you don't see. And well, well, all these I've been finding. That's the only one I've ever seen of them. Um, 541st parachute infantry regiment. Um, it's quite stiff. I don't think it's um, US made. It's odd. A bit like its owner. Um, and again, it looks very similar to the 541st, but the 507th also used similar ones to that. Um, yeah, your guess. I'll let you uh, pretend you know. 101st Airborne HQ. Again, you still see the holes where things have been punched through them in the past. Um, 11th Airborne HQ again. I've picked up a few of those just because they keep on coming up. 
um, a nice strange looking one. It's one that's not regular, you know, apart from the 18th, uh, not 18th, mm, apart from the 326, you know, which is that cross, and the 506, which is the like almost like the French flag. It's unusual to have any diagonal lines at all. Uh, sorry, that's 18th core, which is, you know, the one with the dragon on the square and the blue patch. From that terrible description, if you know what I'm talking about, I will be amazed. Again, could be 507th, could be 541st, could be 327th glider infantry. A lot of them use the same colours, just so we have no idea what they are. I've got loads of like sticky bits of paper that were stuck on those that are now separated. Um, <clears throat> 127th engineers, I'm sure that's post war. Guys have been stuck in an album at some point. Um, a pair of cloth wings which are sewn on a jacket, but they're actual post war ones. Because if you open them up, you can see where he was awarded <coughs> the one with the stars at the master one. I don't know, don't do post-war stuff. Um, and he's obviously wasn't qualified for it or whatever, we didn't like it, so he's folded it over and sewn it on. Like that. Of course, we'll never know the real reason. And another one that came off a uniform. It's almost like it's been ironed and stuck flat. And then I've got those jump wings at like this. One of the uh, general HQ did nod things as well. I'll show you the back, just why not? You've all seen them. They're not very exciting, but it just goes along with all the all the airborne bits. One of those tiny, tiny enamel badges, supposedly British made to go on the garrison cap. <laughs> Is it? Don't know. Can't find any evidence to say that. But period catches on the back. It's you know, it's a really well-made item. Um, it's got lots of little like surface scratches to it. I don't know. I haven't found any evidence to say these are a wartime thing or not a wartime thing, but it's quite nice. Uh, and then a shiny pair of British made ones, and these are made by. I can't quite see because my eyes are a balling now. And also the markings are terrible. Uh, it looks like M and B in Birmingham. There's no way you're going to be able to see, but you, know, you can just about see there is markings on there. There's that one. Send that one. Actually, I think it's, this is an old one of mine, but it's a it's a rigor one. I don't. Is it marked? No, it's just hollow back. It's no. And then we got Thomas. Thomas the badge maker. No, that's not what it says. Thomas something of Birmingham. Another British one. You can see all the text at the top there. Isn't there? You can't. No, you can't see anything at all. Yeah, just. Um, yeah, it's quite a lot of text on it. And then a broken Ludlow of England. You see a theme when he's there. These badges. God, you know my eyes are getting terrible. Um, I can't even tell you the manufacturer because I can't read it properly. Um, it's sterling. It looks like north side, but I know that's not what it says. But I can't quite. I used to have a magnifying glassy. Did not on my desk, but it's a new desk, so nothing's here. I'm sure there's a company called like Norsage or something. No, or something. So I keep looking, talking to the wrong screen, uh, and then just a, just a plain sterling in massive letters. Yeah, look at that. Even you can see it. Um, and then my only glider one so far, it's just sterling marked, usual pin back. Yeah, it's quite nice. I need to get some more of those, some variants. I've got a load of glider cloth patches uh, in the states waiting to be shipped over. Uh, I picked up that. Medics combat badge while I was in New York. I went out to the arse end of nowhere to a little antiques militaria shop. Um, he doesn't do Facebook, he doesn't do eBay, he doesn't do the internet. He he literally sells by people going in his shop. Um, just you know, I don't know how you stay in business by doing that now because 
how is anybody worldwide going to find his stuff? He did have some nice bits in there. Some massive bits as well that there was no way I could um, bring home on the plane for obvious reasons. He had some big 8th Air Force like hand-painted signs that were there. Um, there was some really, really big, gorgeous stuff. Uh, let's start with the modern one. So, a couple of... Oh, let's, let's show, show them to scale, first of all. Uh, so there's a full-size CIB, and there's a tiddly one. Uh, it's a post-war one, S21. And then you've got another post-war S21, but it's silver-filled. <coughs> and then a nice diddly wartime one. And if you see the difference, the, the rifle stuck on the top. It's just made in a different, a different way. I mean, it, I say it's made in a different way. It's just the fact that the rifle is bolted on the top. You can, <laughs> yeah, you see the way the rifle stuck on that one, and that's just flat. <laughs> um, yeah, full size CIB, nothing special. Sterling March, and then I got one in the cellophane. Still, I mean, the cellophane is literally just falling apart. But it can it can stay in there, and he came with a matching brother again, Sterling, slightly different marked. Um, if I could be bothered to lean over there, I could have told you who made it. There's that book by oh, I can't remember his name, so let's quickly see if I can spot it. Of course, if you need something, you can't see anything at all. Oh, now I'm going to have to find it, or it's going to drive me mad. No, I can't see it. Shit. Anyway, there's some guy who wrote a book on them. It's shit up. Uh, if you've got any interest in CIBs, grab a copy. It goes through all the manufacturers, all the different types. The fact that it goes up to like eight different grades. Ah, that's it there. That's the one. That one there. God, I really need to put a light above me. Actually, if I do, hold on. Why have I not opened the blinds? Oh, look, light. Amazing. Um... What's his name? Michael F. Tucker. Any interest in CIBs, get a copy. It is really good. And then it starts you wanting to buy loads of CIBs, um, including cloth ones on town. I don't know if that's, I think that might be a, a repro, but I'm not sure because it's got a few moth nips in it. And, um, and there's a nice German Oh God, yeah, you can see that. I'll put it like that. There we go. Uh, it's a German-made one on Bevo. It is really dark. It is not just the camera as well. But yeah, I need to get... Oh, actually, where's my ring light? It's probably still in standstill. <coughs> and then, let's put those in that pile. Now, yes, it's a set of jump wings or paratroopers qualification badge or whatever you like to see the correct name is um i'll turn it around now it's plastic uh some people have said it's australian made even the the blue clasps are the the early ones um i mean yeah the pins are metal but they've been attached into the plastic it just what i mean it's like holding air there's just nothing there at all Sorry, camera, not camera, camera, not camera. Um, if anybody knows for sure, please let me know. Uh, if you've got any documentation, any photographs or anything that actually says it is, definitely uh, not just guesswork, please, because, you know, or not what your friend Bob has told you. Why my background just disappeared? Um, that um, that your friend Bob at reenacting has told you because his friend Fred told him because you know that sort of shit just gets passed down over time and we've all heard the, the same old stories over and over again like the loops in the musette bag which are used for holding everything from tent pegs to TNT and I don't know what a tent pag is by the way if you heard that um, oh, how, long, how long are we on because I feel that this is dragging on I can't even see the timer now Ah, oh, look, 24 minutes, bloody hell. Um, well, there's only a couple, oh, sorry, a couple more bits down here. Yeah, it's quite a lot. I got a whole pile of original new stock. Oh, which ones are they? They're not presidential unit citations, are they? They're 
the prior version to that. Oh, there we go. This, this little silicone sort of wrapper is uh, just about open, so they are proper, proper mint. I got 10 of those, and again, I got 10 because they were a real good price. All brand new, sparkly, shiny. Whether I'll keep all 10, you know, who knows? I mean, look, it's just. It's, it's, <clears throat> you don't see them that often. Well, I think the guy had boxes and boxes of them. Once they're gone, they're gone. And then I got. Actually, I'll save those for another video because they go with Sunday. Right, I'm going to cut this short, or it's just going to drag on and on and on and on and on. Um, I hope you enjoyed some of the uh, lovely little things that are in that pile of stuff. Uh, I can then put now ship those into a cabinet out of the way. I might do another one later because I've got so much to get through. All those video links you guys have been sending me, I need to get through. And also need to film the office as well as everything else I said about yesterday. I will be back lots and you'll be sick of me. Then again, it's easy. Don't, don't fucking watch this shit. Right. Later's all. With the damn stop button there.